Let's try this again. Can you hear me now? this thing hello hello oh hello 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 can hear me. But no, does it sound better now? people let's try this again I had to to, to, <laughs> to fit so many things in this in this computer to make this work apparently I had some channel playing some sounds somewhere and I had to close everything now I hope we don't get the, the same horrible feedback we got a, a moment ago so let's go back on track one second Yeah, I'm getting some 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 design pointed from Thomas right now. Stuff that, that he wants to be include he wants included in the in the in the design. So yeah, I can see. Okay, apparently Thomas wants it to be a little shorter, a bit stubbier, and uh, apparently Nick's design also had a kill on the bottom. So I have to take a look on that. All right, let's start. So, what we're doing here is a is a science vessel, and it's inspired mostly in in cruisers, boats, and sort that sort of of um, water vehicle, right? So, what we're doing is we first we're gonna start getting gathering some references. We're gonna we're gonna go to Pinterest again. I don't know if it, you catch the, the this the last time we were talking. Pinterest is it tends to be better because it's, it's curated by people instead of going just straight to Google and grabbing stuff random for ideas Pinterest is usually more localized people choose the what they think is the best so I just go straight to the juicy part which is this so let's see what details in common we see 
in this on these designs i i selected selected these designs like a couple days ago and i put them all here usually i do this every time i start a project i make a i make a folder here in pinterest and i put everything there i just just drag and drop everything there so uh let's see so something that i noticed in from from all these boats is these lines right here so we had to incorporate some of those lines this color scheme I really like it it looks really classy with the silver silver chrome elements here and there so I might I might actually grab some of that and this it's sports engine too I really I kind of dig it so let's see if we incorporate this somewhere at the very top at the very top of the ship because suddenly now 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 that I that, that I check that, that I see the next design we have this channel right here and and the thing is that I think we might be able to incorporate some of that engine plus windows in this area let's see how it goes so it looks like a, a little more a bit sportier because this is this is this is science vessel it's not supposed to to be fast and everything look fast and uh, but you know fast looking is, is, is never hurts so uh, again we have the same line this line motifs here we have lines 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 you know all these things we're gonna use that definitely there's something interesting about this this pattern here too that's a nice pattern that's a nice nice thing these lines are solid too and I like how these angles get here I might use some of that too in different parts of the ship this thing right there it's a great way to break this gigantic shape going on right here this line is it's really good it's really good for that to break the shape usually what we want is to break shapes we have gigantic things you start with with blocks you have the squares you have cylinders or, or spheres and then you start subdividing 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 this will be interesting too this this kind of, of, of thing going on right here because it gives the idea that there's people inside looking out not only people doing stuff more like people can actually do stuff to look out more like recreational even though this is a science ship but I have to to make it look a bit like a like a transatlantic or something like that so I have some of that language visual visual language so that being said oh this angle right here we totally doing it you see that how that gets in we're gonna do this exact thing on the side and I love how this line integrates everything the thing here we might do some of that too Ooh, how about that for the back this um, this is like a solid piece right there that's a good idea that's a great idea actually so gotta love the Pinterest banners so uh, little things no we're not gonna do that that looks old school this looks interesting too maybe I borrow something from here like these guys and these these cables I don't know if I want to use cables on this thing here and there so uh, but let's see let's see how it goes and so something that I'm playing the idea with the idea is transparency like this doing some transparent stuff but uh, I still have to find a way to put them let's see how it goes from from here to the end I'm gonna try to go as far as possible today for so it's just you guys have a better idea of what to do of, of, of how to do this thing of how do I do this thing in case you're curious well I guess you are here you are so for this we're gonna use Photoshop right away I already did a sketch here we have the the one that won the competition right here the it was chosen like this right but I want to make something that it's a bit uh, stop here let's see let's see how that goes something from the top because then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that top view and we're gonna use it to create the final 3d blocking in in, in 3d mats so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a, a kind of a faithful design here and then because i want to to i want to to 
to miss early on. If something doesn't work, or doesn't work, I want it. I want to see it here in Photoshop instead of in 3D Maths, which take, takes more time. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make an approximation of this ship. Let's assume that this is the ship more or less we want. Thomas wanted a bit stubbier, so it's gonna be something like this, I guess. So that gives us more or less the perspectives here and there. Although you have to you have to remember there's some foreshortening here and here. There's some foreshortening that you have to take into account. But it's good to have the ship side by side so it's, you, you get the the idea where things go. So the first thing we did was to create a center line. This guy right here. So that is good because it allowed, allowed us to do symmetrical symmetrical designs so Photoshop the new Photoshop has a tool that it that reflects this thing and does it for you but it, I find that it's kind of limiting to to what we do to the to the way I usually work so I I, I don't use it I don't actually no I'm, I'm it doesn't it doesn't matter really all you have to do is flip the thing is that in, in that tool you can create something here and it automatically creates the shape over there but once you start copying and pasting and, and doing the, all that kind of trickery, it just it just dies. It doesn't work. So what we're gonna do? Is we're gonna try to imagine this ship quickly. I did a quick center line there. Uh, let's imagine this ship quickly. It's gonna be something like this. This is the moment where we are like, okay, this ship actually work? Does it actually work? Okay, let's see. We have a long center line going to the back. And the first shape you have this ship is divided into a couple of shapes one two three it's always important to know that otherwise you are gonna go crazy so this is the primary shape and we're gonna put it right here and then we have a secondary shape which is this guy right here that goes inside so what we're gonna do I'm gonna put it in another layer because then what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna check out and I'm gonna keep stretching and modifying and bending and we're gonna torture those shapes so it, they end up working for us we always do that so let's imagine this ship is about one-fourth of the ship so it's gonna be one, two, this is one tap. Wait a second. Ta -da -da. Photoshop had a hiccup over there let's start over here and then these shapes meet right about here right about this area so we're gonna create the secondary shape right here And having an issue here again. Wow. And having the weirdest issue right now, guys. Give me one second. Suddenly, Photoshop doesn't do undo. How about that? The shortcut for the undo is not working. I work many years in this career. See, it's not even drawing. This is 
weird guys okay it's in another uh, I see what's going on for some reason he's giving me the pink light pink light is this thing used to be is this thing right here this thing right here you see that changes the effect of, of whatever I'm drawing for some reason that thing change I don't know why undo is back is it is it yes it is all right let's get this show rolling so that thing over there more or less and then we go for the third shape and this is when when we have to start being careful because we have one, two, three shapes that are kind of similar, right? So the thing is that once you start putting those shapes, you have to be careful of in the way you put them next to each other. Otherwise, it looks too repetitive. So you have to add some, some somehow add uh, some kind of difference. It can be in the distance among them. It can be how they they move out of the screen of, of the of the main design. Hey, let's see how it goes. That's why this part is right there, so it doesn't end everything here. That makes this whole section right here special. So let's do that. Let's put it over here. We can do it like this too. I don't know. That's something good to explore in, in, in with uh, with a 3D block. The 3D blocking. Let's see. We have this antenna right there, or whatever that is. Let's see how that that work for the final design. See, this is all solidly. This this whole line here is going up. This swooping line has that that going forward kind of energy, right? So what we gonna what we do so far again it might change is actually follow that same going forward kind of energy. So boop, we do this thing something like this, right? And then we meter this over here because now what that accomplishes it allowed us to to blend a little better this shape with this shape right here. Maybe we extend this over there. It looks better, I don't know. That way this space and this space they don't look about the same space, about the same size. We want to avoid that. We want some variation. We want something fun. So, we consolidate there, right? This is good, but this is better. You see how if we do this, it's kind of boring, it's expected. So, what we're gonna do is gonna make a notch over there and um, then we build something interesting in this area remember that thing about making interesting shapes and, and, and stuff like that this is well that's how you do it so what we're gonna do now let me clean this thing See, at this point, it doesn't have to be perfect. 
right now because what we want is the main design is the main guide so now we go for for this part we do this we block there and then we toss it like this I still don't know what I'm gonna do down there. It doesn't matter. One problem at a time. When I started doing ships, spaceships, for for concept art for spaceships, I had that problem originally. I wanted to tackle every single problem from the beginning, and that was a horrible mistake. So this is boring right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make another one. Now it looks more interesting. It's very important to take into account how the shapes actually merge with each other. Which, with each other. Suddenly I see this pointy thing right here, right? This area right there. And I imagine that this can be a delicate part that can be broken. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put something here. Like this is a replaceable part. And then we toss it back a little bit. But this is just a insinuation of design right there. And we just leave it there. I hate it, I, that thing is a, it's a bit ahead of schedule, but I had it in my head, so I had to put it right away before I forget about it. Maybe it doesn't work now that I'm seeing it from a bit far. Maybe it's not working. Oh, we'll see about that. I'm gonna worry about that now. So let's do this guy right here. Ah, oh, you see that? I have a bunch of shortcuts for actions like that. Repetitive actions, like making a, a stroke out of a circle, because we do many circles on Photoshop for some, for some stupid reason, still have no proper ellipse uh, tools. So you have to actually pack them. You're gonna notice that I have many, many tools in my, here I have this guy, this guy makes perspective. This is a plugin that I bought some time ago. This is perfect for making perspective lines. Uh, I have all my actions here. See, I have, I have it up, tons of shortcuts. Flip, 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 you know, stuff like that. So, I'm gonna put this thing here. Oops, I messed the one up. But you know what? We're gonna leave it, leave it out. Doesn't matter. Again, we merge. Cut. See how it flipped? That's an that's an action that I have. I just hit F uh, F two, and it flips uh, um, horizontally. That way I don't have to do it every single time. Now the ship is begging me. You see the visual weight right here? Check it out. You see the visual weight from here to here is greater than the visual weight from here to here. The thing is that here in the front in this front area you have you have this thing going on, this thing, this thing, this thing, this thing. You have many things going on. In this area you have barely anything you have this maybe so this is why solely to make proper visual balance what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna stretch this guy a little bit just a little bit like this that way the mass of this balances the level of detail over there Right? I don't know if you see what I see, but that's usually 
how it works. So let me make a copy of, of this of this um, of this layer because now we're gonna do some some Photoshop trickery. We're gonna we're gonna warp it to make it more round. More aggressive round at the bottom. You see it? I don't know. Maybe it works. Maybe it doesn't. In this case, actually, it makes it makes sense. It helps balance the ship a bit more, which is what we want right now. We want balance. We want to balance this design. We don't want it to go crazy. So, remember that engine's engine section dimension before? So I think I found a place. I'm just gonna leave this thing there. You know what? This is a great opportunity to make something interesting. You see how this shape goes down here? And it ends right here? Let's not do that. Let's make a bumper. Like something that goes like this. So that means that this shape, now instead of finishing there, it just blends. If you look at the shape from the horizon, from the side, this shape goes down like this, like this, and goes and ends up here, instead of going flat over there. That turns this area right here, this whole area right here, into a shell, to whatever is inside this area. It makes it more interesting. Now, you can integrate this, I don't know, what is this, maybe windows, lights, sci-fi, techno, gribble, you know, some gribble, I'm gonna leave it there. You see how this thing suddenly ends up there? It's uncomfortable now, it's, it's, it's too much tension there, let's do it again. Boom. Now we do this thing. You have to allow the design to speak to you, to speak to you. You have to allow that. Maybe now, now that we have this thing here, we have something here, something like a little strut that goes on the surface and the surface and stays like this. See, one thing leads to the other. Now we're gonna select, we're gonna put a, a mark in the center. We're gonna flip. We're gonna match the mark. More something like there. Something like that over there, sorry. And suddenly, you have something at the very bottom of the composition doing this visual movement. See? That's what we want. We want we want forward momentum. Let me save this thing before it crashes. We want that forward momentum. So we delete this thing. Let me check something out here. Now this is the moment that I go and talk to Thomas. Let's see if he's online. 
All right, man, is this good? Is this stubby enough? All right, I just got the green light. See, this is how it goes. I do, I do a little bit of this, send it to Thomas, send it to the team, to the ship team. They have critiques, they, they come back to me. I just got the green light that this 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 profile is is good to go, all right. So uh, it goes it's good to go now. But we had to to consider that eventually we might have to make some decisions because we have these guys over here, and that is going to add me some visual weight. And we want to avoid the ship to look completely square. We want it to look a bit pointy. Because the ship, even if it's standing still, it should look like it's moving forward. That's something to consider eventually. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna I'm gonna omit this this these things. I don't know how we call those things. We're gonna make something eventually. I don't know, maybe you come up with, with an idea how to, what the function of those things. So, so we have those things. We're going to avoid that thing for the moment. We're going to jump soon to, to 3D. So, and then we're going to put this, these things. I don't know what these things are. Okay. Let's put them right here for the moment, for the time being. What we're doing here, in, we're making these things, right? But we're making them in a way that allowed us to blend this shape with this shape. These two shapes. You see this line? The main purpose of this thing is to erase that line. What we're looking for are excuses, my friend. That's what we're doing. Excuses to, to make this thing look good and decent. Okay. This has to this this line has to obey this line it has to have some sense of rhythm now we tweak this a little bit more do i like how it how it looks like i don't know that's still to be seen so we do the same trick again Put it right here. Hmm. Do we want to match this thing? Let me one second. Let me try something, guys. Because we have this thing over here, this one over here. I was wondering if this line should match this line right there to create sense of sense of movement in to, to, towards inside of the ship. I'm gonna leave it flat for a moment, but I'm gonna try to do something about that in, in 3D. Also, hmm, wait a second. What I can do, what we can do also is we can do something here quickly. We can do that too. The good thing about this is that I'm doing stuff like this is that from from for this when you're building stuff like this like spec ships, you have to consider early on how the light is going to bounce. How you, how you're going to how are you going to use your lights properly? Right? So, I imagine that this thing has a light inside. Some, some, some degree of illumination. I would love that. But if we put it like this, n if we put something inside that thing, now the light is going to be casting out. And you're going to be able to see from the top, like this. That's something I have to consider. I'm going to leave it there for the moment. Light, light is important. If light, if 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 the light doesn't doesn't, as you say, dance on top of the surface of the ship, you know, it's, it's you're wasting your time. 
Lice has to bounce really nicely. It's like a diamond, you know? How you spin a diamond and it shines differently? That's why diamonds are so expensive apart from, you know, the makeup thing. It's like they refract light really beautifully and reflect. So, all right, let's do that. Let me see. Now I'm deleting this thing right here. Erasing. Erasing. I don't know if you notice I haven't included the, the, the things yet. Because those are easy things to include in, in 3D maps. So. You see this nice line right here? We're going to start recycling, guys. Copy paste, and we're gonna recycle that line because what you want is cohesion in these things. See, we're gonna stretch, stretch, stretch. See how beautiful it looks here. How how that space is is similar from top to bottom. Boom. That's our line right there. I'm gonna cut right here. You see, it's he's, he's really dark, so what I did, I selected this line, move it on the, a little bit on the side, and delete it. So I used the same line information to erase the line. I don't know, this is something, some Photoshop trickery. So, nah, we do the same in the other side. Maybe there. Nah. Doesn't work. Let's not force it. So. Let's see. We have this line going down here. all that information because it was getting out of control we do the same okay how does it look I can see from far that it still reads so should I make this thing even thicker make it thicker uh, no I think it's too much let's leave it like that for a moment maybe these guys are too much too suddenly it's more suddenly we don't need it hey what do you know maybe it's curved like that whoa see Design speaks to you. So mm. we 
which means that the sky is suddenly something like this. That means that something interesting can happen here now, because we, we made a line here, we specify something. This line. Is this line, this line is this line. This line should start over here somewhere. Got it. This is easy, it's easy to lose track of, of what you're doing with so many lines in the in the composition. Oh, we got some some garbage here. I think that sometimes you have to make lines like this in complicated shapes like this thing that is going on right now because if you if you if you check out this this shape in 3d it can be really difficult to perceive from this, this from the distance so you have to start making lines in the surface so you can read more clearly from from different angles this is why you're gonna see many many artists doing lines like this, because it's a, it allowed us to. If you look at from the front, you can see this, and it informs the relief of the shape. If you look it from the front, otherwise it's really difficult to read. We might do something similar, so. Do that merge and then over there. Well, well, that's how it's going to be. So they were starting to have some motif here. And you see this curve right here and this curve right here? Now we replicate right here. Second, let me turn off my little fan because that synth, this synthic is getting really hot. One, se one second. Okay. There you go. Let me put it lower. Okay. 
one sec. No, let me put the other one. It's more silent. Now, now we're talking. The thing, guys, uh, is that I'm doing this, this, these drawings in Photoshop using a Cintiq, a Wacom Cintiq. For you guys who don't know about this thing, it's it's pretty much like a like a tablet that you can use to draw, but it's 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 a it's it's a, it's a screen too, so you're drawing directly in the screen. One of the issues with that thing is that it can get hot sometimes. <laughs> you have your hand on top of this thing and every now and then you have to put a fan a little fan that I, that I have here to 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 cool this thing down all right we have something we I think we have something decent going on so now you have this line here you see this space right here there's a wasted space it's telling me there's something there's something supposed to be there so let's put this this thing right there for the moment. All right. So, let me let this line a bit. A little bit of clean up. You see these lines right here? We cannot we cannot get that to waste, right? So what are we gonna do? Yeah, give me one second.
I've been told that there were some issues. Can you hear me now? Hello? I've been told that there's sound right now. All right, let's try this thing again. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do something like this. So it looks like an array. Should I make it straight like that? Hmm. Yeah, let's make it straight. Let's make it straight because then, if I made it differently, the windows closest to this area, we're gonna be so, so, so tiny that it, they we're gonna look pixelated. So let's just leave it like that, like that. Okay, all this area out. The beauty of working in layers. Now let's make a let's make this into an explosion from the center. Yeah, doesn't look great. Let's make it straight. Boom. I don't know actually if I like that. Should I leave it open? Hmm. Let's leave it open. No lines. We get rid of. Center. You know, let's not do that. Let's unify everything. Let's cut, paste because it had so many things in different sections over here. We cut. Then oh. See, this is the beauty of doing the process like this. These happy accidents happen. See how this shape is actually nice. Maybe for some future stuff or some, some call out or some detail. Because you start doing this, see? Shapes start to emerge. Maybe you like them like that. Maybe you want it thicker. You know, maybe I want it like this. For the moment, we stay, we, we stay in with the script and we just leave it like this. We merge.
one moment. Let me try something here, guys. One moment. Let's see if this thing is still working. Perfect. Okay, let's 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 just leave it like that. Let's get rid of this. And now we have these antennas antenna things or whatever. For example, right now when I did this sketch originally, I put this 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 antenna there, right? Just to see, just to have something that's on directionality. I don't know if I'm loving that detail anymore. I'm gonna try to do something about that. And this is the thing: when sometimes we do sketches, and the sketches end up being modified heavily because it. This is all a thing about when we do. When we do stuff like this, it, it should suit the purpose of the of the of the design first. First of all, how uh, about you know? I don't know if I'm digging these things there. Let me try something quickly. All right. It's gonna be this pointy. Yeah, I agree. Sometimes you have to do when you do a, 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 a like spaceships, which is something that drives me crazy with sci-fi lately. Is that ships get to be too busy, too much, too many details. It's like too many details, too many, too many hooks and and, and, and and pointed things and, and stuff like that and I don't know when that started but man I don't know it's a matter of taste I guess I just don't, don't like I like this this simpler simpler design I like to play with the one two three design technique I don't know if you guys if you know, yeah, <laughs> Nostromo looks like a space garbage truck, full of, of, of yeah. I don't know about the fins. Let's see how it goes. We, maybe we don't need it. Maybe we don't need it. Maybe we find a use. So uh, let me see. The one, two, three design philosophy, guys. All right. Let's imagine this is a panel of a spaceship. Whoop. Oh, that's not it. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, this is a panel, right? The panel goes like that. You know what? Let's make it into something more physical. This is a door. This is a sci-fi door. This is the first level. This, this first level blocking. The second level blocking will be put in something inside. That's number two. In a tail level, then we add this thing right here. And that's it. No more. Nothing more. No four, five, fifth, sixth level of, of design. That's how I do everything pretty much. Big shapes, medium shape, and a smaller shape inside. You do that many times, you, you, you're good. You're good. You're, good. you're, gonna, you're gonna be fine. So 
So let's see. Before I was having issues, guys, because I, I wasn't I wasn't able to to check out the the, the Twitch uh, comment section. I don't know what happened. Now I can, so that's why I'm talking to you guys now. I've been told that the sound was off and everything. I was like, oh man, what? All right. But now, yeah, now we can talk. Do we need this thing right there? I don't know. Let's let's just leave it there. So we experiment in the 3D process. The 3D process can be kind of boring, guys. I don't know. So I, I'm, not, I'm not blaming you. If you are like uh, going to be like, oh my god, this is so slow. Yeah, 3D process can be a bit, a bit slow every now and then. I leave it here. Another thing is that uh, mm, nope. We come up with something for later. But definitely we need something here. Still open to, to DB. I don't know, maybe we can put something like a sensor array or whatever. Right here. Right there. Now we have a lot, a lot of tension in this area. We had to, f I had to figure out how to tackle that problem. Visual tension is something you have to, to deal with pretty often. You trust, you toss a line, and that line affects everything else. Do, do, do. This pointy thing, I don't know how pointy I want it. Do I want it pointy? I don't know. It's more like an indication of of forward momentum since everything points back, 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 back. This guy is only points like. Nope, this is where your eyes should go. So, like, ten, ten, ten. Going up. That's what we're doing. Alright. Let's consolidate again. I made a mistake, actually. This thing, this part right here, I was supposed to leave it in a separate layer. But hey, it is what it is. We roll with it. Okay. Let me see, let me see, let me see the accidents happening. Okay. All right. This is. I think this is a good moment to 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 jump into 3D. Let me close this thing right here. Yeah, man. Happy little accidents are the thing. You have to you have to create a process that allows you to fail in, in in a way that you can actually use that that um that accident that that thing that happened because if you want to calculate everything you do the designs get to be too repetitive you have to 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 look for ways to actually make something new without you actually having to think about it otherwise your brain goes back to your recipe so all right i'm feeling comfortable with 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 what we have right now in detail detail wise so let's go let's go to 3d mats let me let me move this let me make a new document of actions Here we go we have even even for a new document i have one because i want my documents to have the same settings everywhere. We moved right there. There you go. And 
now I'm gonna invert this thing because what I want inverts and then I'm gonna do 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 so modify control I struggle finding lately because many of these things I do have them in shortcut and I'm trying to make some some things here in Photoshop so you guys see what I'm actually doing <laughs> and it's been so long since I've done things manually like that that I actually forget where the things are all right I painted that thing red because then when we do the blocking in in 3d mats then I know exactly what I'm blocking. I'm gonna save this thing. We're gonna make a new folder. Uh, it's gonna be 3D. And then I'm gonna do the rise at top. We have the top, right? Okay, how does it look from the bottom? How does it look from the bottom? That's the mystery, that's what nobody knows. So, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna leave it like this because then I'm gonna do the, the 3D blocking. I'm gonna do some geometry takes and then I'm gonna take that geometry, bring it back to Photoshop, do the same process in Photoshop and bring it back to 3D mats. You'll see, you'll see, you'll see. Now, you, gotta, you guys have to remember, I'm not a 3D artist. I'm gonna, you're gonna see me failing a lot in 3D, but hey, what we're gonna do, right? 3D mat. Okay, let me move the window. Let me move the the Twitch window to this other place. Boom, 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 boom. All right, let's go here. Plane. Do do do. Boop. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start making materials for you guys. Standard, and then I'm going to grab this thing. Skip this thing. I did it wrong. I'm supposed to do this thing. Do do do, and then this. All 
right, let's make it directly. Boom. That's the thing. Let's make it directly. One way doesn't work. Let's try the other. This thing right there. Let's minimize the sky. Tap. That's our thing. See? Let me flip this thing. Let's constrain. That's in 180 degrees. That way, is the north is the north. This is the old top. Yeah, that's actually fine. Oh, I was watching it. There you go. Now it is. Let's get rid of this grid. I don't know. Let me leave it for the moment, actually. I move that thing over there. We freeze this thing and create another layer. There you go. Now we lock this thing. We cannot select this thing. We go to the top. Now, how do we tackle this situation? I don't know. Every single one of these things is different. So So what I do first is just grab some make some transparent materials. Trying to figure out how to tackle this this thing. Okay. Let's just trap in the process, huh? This is gonna be clay. I want to see everything. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna subdivide this this shape in three parts so far. Okay, we have that thing over there. The 
this and this. Because why not? Yeah, we later we smooth. We hit the turbo smooth and everything will be fine. Oh, by the way, 3D Studio Mats crashes a lot. A lot. So, don't be surprised if suddenly all this thing goes to hell quickly. The funny thing about 3D software is that Many people work differently. All this thing that I'm doing right now can be done in so many ways. In so many ways. And if you see an expert playing with 3D mats or some 3D software, you're gonna be like, oh man, what am I doing? Okay. I'm just gonna leave this thing there. More, more or less. Let me toss a couple of loops here. When I'm building this thing, I'm not concerned about is this gonna look good in game, the model itself, because uh, that's why we have amazing 3D artists, like real 3D artists, not like hacks like me, to to make this thing work properly. I just hand it to, to Thomas Ian or Donny or whoever is is, is is gonna work in the ship, or, or Tobias. I don't know. And they take care of, of cleaning up my mess. I just draw things. <laughs> so technically speaking, technically speaking, yeah. don't pay attention to what I'm doing because this is garbage. Da -da -da. That's the ship. Well, the center. Now we're gonna make the second part. Okay, that thing's there, it's done, good to go. Let's make another box right here. It's funny, it used to be that if you wanted to be a concept artist, it was like, yeah, can you draw? Can you design stuff? Can you think concept-wise, you, you know, cons as a concept artist, when, when you take a, a, an idea and you break it down and you illustrate it, it used to be like that. And yeah, I can do that. Yeah, well, you got a job, it's yours. But now, if you want to get into 3D and to concept art, you have to <laughs> know 3D 
3D software, you have to know so many things. I've seen people working with so many tools and they make amazing realistic things, you know? And then I'm like, damn. So when you when you're doing this kind of, 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 of work you, you never really stop studying. You have to keep updating. You know, let me let me control these things before he, everything goes to to hell in a handbasket. Okay, we can make this thing a bit more inside, so we have more leeway. I think that's good. I think that's fine. Let me make this. I'm making these things as you notice I haven't done any detail like hardcore detail I just want to see these shapes mingling with each other that's the first thing how do they interact let's make the the, the rocket thing or or whatever you want to call it the propulsion or impulse or I don't know I'm making up stuff here. But. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I can play with that thing. doing is we're gonna go symmetry again we use symmetry all the time in this thing quick results then we mash this thing Oh, this is another great way to create, to, <laughs> to generate accidents and new stuff, this tool. Because some, sometimes, sometimes you, you, you press the wrong button and the geometry that, that, that happens actually works. And you're like, yeah, I'm staying with that new thing that just happened by accident. And then you take all the credit and, and all, that, all that beautiful stuff. So... I see some some weird polygons here. We'll deal with that later. We'll deal with that later. 
I don't know why that happened actually. Interesting. All right, let's ignore that for a moment. So, oops, no, no symmetry. Now we're gonna make a cylinder. Two, two, two. Cylinder like right over here, something like this. Let me cut the height segments. I'm gonna control that myself instead. It starts somewhere over here. And ends over down there. Somewhere down here, I don't know. Maybe we decide not to go with the cylinder on that on the very back, but let's see. What are we gonna do with this guy? Oh wait. Boop. Let's change that thing. Because now And this cylinder, more or less, is going to give us the height of the ship from the front. Let me separate this thing to see what's the problem with that selection. Ah, I see, I see. So let me check in Photoshop how the sketch goes, how the thing is supposed to be. It's very important always. So this is when we start doing some trickery. Let's save. Right? And now remember that thing we just we had a moment ago? This is where we apply this thing. We start early on. The funny thing is that I can do this, and suddenly I realize that this is the wrong way of doing it, and I had to start all over again. It happened to me before. I put myself against a, a corner. I'm, I'm like, mm -mm, not working. Redo. Bye. See, I just, I just took that picture that I did. And I pasted it on top of that 3D, 3D uh, block that I did. Now, what we do is we play a little bit with it. Make it fit. This is why that thing was painted red, so I can identify it quickly. I want to see the edges and from those edges then I'm gonna start working my, my way up
But you know what? Let's. I wonder what's the best approach here. Let me apply this thing. Let me raise this whole thing first. Let's see where we where where we go from there. But what's the what's the best way to do that? Isolate. Oh, polygons. And just start pulling up. Pulling up, pulling up, pulling up. Let's exaggerate. Something like this. One problem first. I have to start paying attention how the line flows. That's really important. Okay, this goes lower like this. Let me consolidate this thing, collapse it. And then these guys I just I just move them here for a moment. Not too far, so I don't lose track of them.
now we start integrating a bit of the of the side shapes let me go back to the sketch see how it goes okay that goes inside the shape itself This tool is so so useful. It allows you to do stuff like this so quickly. Okay, I'm gonna leave this thing right there. That's it. You know what? I'm gonna change all the exaggerate because from there we start doing things okay thing is supposed to join over here more or less so let's try that I'm just gonna start with these points right here Clearly, this is we're stretching it. It's not working anymore, so we kill it.
and checking out that that curve over there it's working for us Found something here this is not flowy enough flow is important in these tunes the eye has to move really comfortably if if it doesn't work like that it's that this is just not working okay I can see some some crap is not supposed to be there see how it's pinching the composition here and here how it's kind of sagging we have to change that thing to straight they might be boring from this angle so I might have to do something about that later on So guys, I'm gonna leave you here for a moment. I'm gonna take a little break, lunch and you know, all that thing. And then I'm gonna come back. Be like 45 minutes, one hour, something like that. So uh, be back in a bit.